In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's how oh. Parsha Bereshit begins and how the Torah begins. In Bereshit, God creates the world, animals, and people. A lot happens in Bereshit. But nothing more important than God's finest creation, man. Nothing that is, except woman. You two are jumping ahead of the story. You aren't even created yet. Get on with it. You've got a lot of ground to cover. Okay, in the beginning, God created light a first day. On the second day, God divided the waters below from the waters above. On the third day, God created dry land and water. And seeds. Grass and trees were also able to grow in the, on that land. And on the fourth day, God created... And is it time for man yet? We're getting there. Hold your horses. Horse? What is a horse? Patience, you'll find out on the sixth day. Fourth day, God created the sun, moon, and the stars. God created fish and birds. <laughs> and on the sixth day, here it comes! God created the horse and man and woman. I'm man. And I'm woman. God made us in his image, her image, whatever. And God blessed us and put us in charge of the earth, animals that live here, and the plants that grow here. And then, on the seventh day, God saw that the work was done, and God rested. And that's the story of creation. What do they mean by that's the story? There's so much more. I guess we'll have to tell it ourselves. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the world's first flashback. We'll bring it to you on day six. What are you doing? We have a flashback on TV. The screen always gets fuzzy. God hasn't created TV. That doesn't come until like day 12 trillion or something. Uh, well, on the sixth day, God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Dust? Huh. That explains a lot. Right. God also planted a garden in, place of, in, in a place called Eden and put a man there to take care of it. Oh, really? So how come I never get you to mow the lawn? Would you like to wait until you're created, please? Anyway. God created lots of trees and told the man he could eat from every one except. I am a tree of knowledge of good and evil. Your fruit looks good. Sorry, you may not eat it. Why not? If you do, you'll all die. I think I'll go munch on some grass. God will make you some companions. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Not much a conversation, huh? Well, what should I call you? Not catchy enough. call you a dog, you a sheep, and you a gorilla. Bitch. Hey, don't have a cow. That's it. I'll call you a cow. Now, you guys are supposed to be my companions. What do you want to talk about? I 
I think I'll take a nap instead. And so Adam slept. God took one of Adam's ribs, created me. Hear me roar. Another animal? No, it's me, cutie. Your new best friend. Great. Well, I better go name some other animals. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first blind date. What a bummer. I guess I'll just tell you it's back. Maybe this is a good movie. While well, Adam is gone, a serpent came to Eve. The serpent was smarter than those other, other animals. And sneakier, too. Hey, come here often? Who? Me? Of course you. Can I buy you a drink? Or even better, how about a bite of the tasty fruit? Oh, I can't eat from the tree. God said if I do, I'll die. No, you won't. God only said that because if you eat from the tree, you'll know the difference between good and evil. And then you'll be like God. And God doesn't want any competition. I don't know. Adam said God was pretty serious about it. Adam, he, he's a man. What does he know? Good point. Doesn't it look juicy and delicious? Yes. And wouldn't you like to have the wisdom of God? It couldn't hurt. Then what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Eve, what are you doing? God told us never to eat that fruit. If we do, we'll die. Do I look dead? I don't know. No one's ever died before. I'm fine, Adam. And this nice serpent explained to me that it's good to eat the fruit. It will make us smart. And it's low in fat and calories. Come on, Adam, take a bite for me. Oh, well, oh, well, what harm could one bite do? Eve, you're not wearing any clothes. Neither are you. God saw that Adam and Eve had eaten the, the forbidden fruit, and God was not pleased. So God decided that man would have to work to earn a living. And that woman would have to feel a lot of pain when they had babies. I think I'll be, I think I'll be going now. Not so fast. From now on, snakes have to crawl on their bellies. You have to get on your belly. This is kind of uncomfortable. But that's the idea. Eve, we blew it. Now God wants us out of the Garden of Eden. We'll make the best of it, Adam. We'll start a family. They had two sons. I'm Cain. Oh, and I'm Abel. Do, do, to do what? Haha, ha, you're so funny, I forgot to laugh. Now, boys, stop fighting. He didn't stop fighting because Cain was jealous of Abel, and so he killed him. <gasps> Adam and Eve were very sad, but they had more children. And soon the world became filled with people. But the people had wicked thoughts, and God was disappointed with all of them. All that is, except Noah. Which brings us to Parsha Noah. In the end of this Parsha, 